Hello, I'm John Lehman, a software engineer at Unidata, and welcome to another MetPy Monday. We're continuing our series on SKU T's, and we have a pretty good looking SKU T where we left off last week. We've got our wind barbs properly downsampled, we have the temperature and dew point lines plotted, and the axis limits are set where things look pretty good. But oftentimes we want to have some special lines plotted on the SKU T, something that could be thought of as a fiducial line. So what is the dry adiabat path or moist adiabat path, or what are the mixing ratio lines on here? These are all things that you could compute with functions that are in MetPy and then plot them over a range on here. And that would be fine, but we've already built that in so that it's a simple one line command. One of the easiest way to discover these things is by using tab completion. So I'm gonna skew dot for a plot and I'm just gonna hit tab and you can see, look at all of these options in here. So I can shade area, shade cape, shade sin. But let's go ahead and add some of these special lines. So I want plot dry adiabats. If I shift tab, you see that I don't have to pass it anything. There are defaults already in there. If I wanted to change things, I could, but I'm pretty happy with the defaults. While we're at it, we're going to go ahead and plot moist adiabats. And finally, we're going to plot the mixing lines. Again, save yourself some keystrokes and help find new things by using things like tab completion. And then I'll type fig so that we redisplay the figure, run that cell. All right, and we just had a lot of information added to our plot with just three lines of Python. So that was relatively simple. But what if I wanted to mark out a special pressure or a special temperature, a special isotherm? Well, if we want to do this in a normal plot with matplotlib, we would use the AXH line for horizontal line and AXV line for vertical line. Here, we can do the same thing. We've implemented the transform for you. So skew.ax to get to the axis object, AXH line, and then let's say I want my special line here at, uh, let's say 500 millibars is special to me here. And I'm gonna go ahead and make that a black line. And then redisplay the figure. Now you see we've got this black line here at 500 hectopascals. Okay, so that's nothing too special, but what about an isotherm? A true vertical line on this plot's not an isotherm because it's a skew T. But if you use the AX V line function here, let's make the, uh, the freezing point of water here, zero C. And we'll color it cyan and show the figure again. We take care of that transform for you. So you see now we've got our special line here. So these are a couple of quick and easy ways to mark things on your plot and make it a lot easier and a lot more useful to look at if you're trying to figure out, well, what would my parcel path be by hand? That's something that next week we'll cover is how MetPy can calculate a parcel path for you and then you can shade things like areas of Cape and Sin. As always, feel free to contact us with any questions or problems that you run into and share what you're doing with us on social media at MetPy and at Unidata. Thanks for joining me on this week's MetPy Monday.